Uh, hi, I'm Michael Gilpin. I'm the head coach of the Prescott Badgers. Um, my impression of the game was it was it was kind of a tale of two halves. We made a lot of mistakes uh, in the first half, and uh, the other team capitalized on it. We knew that Combs was a good football team because they were in the playoffs last year, and you don't get in the playoffs if you're not a you know a pretty good football team. Um, so we knew they were going to come up here, and they were going to try to. They weren't. They didn't want to go into an 0-2 hole to start their season, just like we didn't. Uh, we pressed a little. We made some dumb, dumb mistakes that are somewhat uncharacteristic of us, dropping punts and things like that. Um, and we were in a tight ball game at half. And we just talked about what we had to do at half to, to get back to playing smash mouth, Prescott Badger football. And, and you know, the results kind of speak for themselves because our boys in the trenches, they're, they're not going to quit. They're never going to quit. And our running backs are going to come running downhill the entire game. And they carried us. One of the things I noticed is that last week you had a lot of um, penalties. Yeah. You had, including several unsportsmanlike yeah. um, penalties. I didn't hear nearly as many penalties this this time around, and it seemed like the. And I don't think they had any unsportsmanlike ones. This I don't week. think we did. Yeah. We might have had one. I don't remember. Uh -huh. Well, you know, football football is a game that's predicated on violence. I mean, that's one of the reasons that we love it. But I've been talking to the team. I don't want them to be any less aggressive or any less violent, but we talked about intelligent violence within the rules and that doesn't hurt us. Intimidation and physicality is part of the game, but intelligent violence, not violence that hurts your team. And I think we took a step in that direction tonight. And boy, I mean, you, you scored that one touchdown just at the end of the half. Yeah. That must have felt really good to that kind was of... Big give you some more momentum yeah. coming into the second half. That was huge. That was because um, the way all the mistakes seemed to have gone is they were penalties and dropped punts and things that kept the other offense on the field. So our mm -hmm. offense really wasn't on the field much in the first half. So when we had uh, you know a couple minutes left in the second quarter and we got the ball back, me and the guys, we talked, we said, we got to go score. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that was a big turning point because it kind of got us back on the same page. You talked a lot about the contributions that David Pierce made tonight. Yeah. Can you um, can you explain that? Uh, you know, I've been lucky enough to to coach David for four years now, mm -hmm. and literally have not seen a tougher young man come through here. And what you saw from him tonight was when we desperately needed it. Thirty two just said, "I'll do it, coach. I got it." And he was exhausted. That that kid, he had nothing left. I mean, he's exhausted. But when we needed it, he kept pounding him and pounding him. He just wanted it more than every other kid on the field. And, and David Pierce, David Pierce is a man. He is. Okay, anything you want to add? No, I just, uh, we got a lot of work to do. We're far from a finished product. Um, we're going to be a tough football team. Every We're not ever going to quit, but we got to improve in a lot of areas. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks. So